Al-Udhiyah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, laid down for the Muslims an emphatic sunnah during the Eid for slaughtering, which is also known as Al-Udhiyah. It is the animal that is slaughtered on the days of slaughtering, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, and the 13th of the Hijjah, as a means of getting closer to Allah. As Allah the Most High said, Then pray to your Lord and sacrifice to Him only. And the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, sacrificed two rams that were amlahain, black and white, with white the dominating color, and aqranain, which means horned. He slaughtered both with his hands, saying, Bismillah and Allahu Akbar, while placing his leg on their necks. And after the Muslims pray the Eid prayer, the time of slaughtering starts. And it continues until sunset on the last day of at tashriq the 11th, 12th and 13th day of the Hijjah. A single sheep or goat is enough for one individual, and he can include whoever he wishes in sharing the rewards thereof. Because the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, when he wanted to slaughter his offering, Bismillah, Allahumma taqabbal min Muhammadin wa ala Muhammadin wa min ummati Muhammadin meaning in the name of Allah O oh Allah except from Muhammad and the household of Muhammad and the nation of Muhammad it is permissible for seven individuals to jointly slaughter a camel or cow due to the statement of Jabir may Allah be pleased with him the messenger of Allah peace and blessings of Allah be upon him ordered us to join together to slaughter a cow or camel each seven individuals on a badana. The best sacrificial animals are camels. If all their meat is given to the poor, since they are the most expensive and of the most benefit to the poor. Next comes cows, if all their meat is given to the poor. Then a sheep or goat. Then one seventh of a badana or camel, and then one seventh of a cow. There are some Deformities which disqualify the animals from being acceptable as sacrificial ones. If it is al-awra or blind or arja, which means it cannot walk, or ajfa and emaciated, and similarly one which is obviously sick. Evidence for all these is the hadith of al-Bara ibn Azib, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, it is not permissible to offer as a sacrifice an animal that clearly has one bad eye, a lame animal that is obviously lame, a sick animal that is obviously sick, or an animal that is so emaciated that it is as if there is no marrow in its bones. Added to these deformities are their likes or those that are worse. But there are deformities that do not affect the illegibility of an animal for sacrifice. For example, al batra that is an animal which has no tail, or jamma, or an animal which never had horns, or al khasi, which is the castrated animal, or an animal that has a cleft or notch in its ear, or a crack on its horn, and any other simple deformity. It is legislated that the owner of the animal eats a third, gives a third as a gift, and gives the remaining third as a sadaqah. If he gives all as a sadaqah, it is permissible, as is the case if he eats most of it. Concerning this, the scholar stated that the one who slaughters the udhiya and hadi should be careful to benefit from this meat and not let it become spoilt. As some pilgrims, when they slaughter the hadi, they leave it without skinning or chopping it, so they do not benefit from its meat. It is not permissible for whosoever wants to sacrifice on the Eid day Udhiya to cut any of his hair or nails or skin when the month of the Hijjah has set in until he slaughters the animal. This is due to the hadith of Umm Salama, may Allah be pleased with her, that the Prophet peace be upon him said, when the first ten days of the Hijjah set in and any of you wishes to make sacrifice, he should not touch any of his hair or skin at all. However, for those on whose behalf the offering is to be made, for example, the wife, children, etc., they are not forbidden to cut anything from these. The first ten days of the Hijjah are blessed days in which good deeds are rewarded manifold. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, There are no days in which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah than those ten days. They said, 
O Messenger of Allah, not even jihad in Allah's cause, the Messenger of Allah said, not even jihad in Allah's cause, unless a man were to out with his self and his wealth and not return from that with anything. It is recommended to worship much during these days by performing dhikr, which is the remembrance of Allah Almighty, and praising Allah, and also reading Quran and giving charity. It is also recommended to fast these days except the Eid days, and the best day to fast during this time is the day of Arafah, except if one is performing Hajj as a fast for such a person has not been stipulated.